Hello everyone, so uh, it's been a while since I've done a video and I just thought I'll do a video on this new uh, engine because um, I don't really see that many on um, on social media, uh, YouTube and stuff. So what do we have here? We have the twin RCGF uh, 20cc um, petrol engine for RC planes, um, Chinese made plane, uh, engines I believe. Um, it's got it comes with the ignition for the twin setup it comes with the two um, spark plugs and I believe uh, stands and whatnot so let's have a look see what's inside which uh, we'll do the unboxing and just show show everyone basically what's in here and what you get for the uh, for the money so let's have a look inside it's an unbox that was really well packed with the former stuff comes with a uh, operation manual instructions and obviously it's English comes with different models mountings uh, sizes and um, dimensions and that's really quite cool actually setting up engine yeah setting up fuel tanks and lines so yes uh, cool so that's that one uh, we got uh, as a parts, what is this called? Like a parts, yeah. So spare parts and explore the diagram for spares and the specs for the engine itself, which is good. And then we have a warranty card, which I'm guessing a year or two. I haven't even looked into that. Oh yes, fantastic stickers. So you got some uh, scorpion finger. Nice big stickers. Oh, right. Let's have a look at these. I've got my mate Alison doing the camera work. She's doing great so far, right? Right, right. <laughs> so, shiny. So, this is what you get. Let's have a look. So, this is a pack with the um, electronic ignition, which is 6 volts to 14.4 volts. So, what's that? Uh, like, 2s to um, 4s or something i believe uh nice and light actually i mean well not really light because you got twin setup but still pretty small and light compact uh one of the exhaust canister thingy exhaust box comes with a plastic i thought this was silicon but it's like quite hard plastic i guess it's uh, like um um, I'm not sure what sort of plastic it is, but uh, heat, heat uh, proof, I guess. And these are nice and light as well. Another one in there. We leave that one in there. These. Uh, oh yeah, so that's engine stands, which I believe is 23 mil or something like that. The bolts for the engine, and then the two spark plugs, and some gaskets for the uh, exhaust mufflers. And something else let's have a quick look at one of these little plugs because they are so cute i believe they are the same size thread as uh, glow plugs so it's like three eighths or whatever it is not sure tiny things and then um, some sort of some bolts in here oh yeah that's for the uh, that will be for the exhaust for the um wow look how tiny this thing is and they are iridium and they are branded uh, stinger engine so they will be i don't know rebranded so <laughs> look how it's going to keep it smaller in your big hands. <laughs> look how tiny that is. Oh my god, it's tiny. It's like a normal spark plug, but in miniature. Yeah, so that's awesome. That's that's Hang really. Focus. Can you see it? There's no markings on the plug itself, as far as I can tell. It's literally just, yeah, unbranded. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Amazing. Okay, and then we'll put that back in the box. It's a quite large box for such a tiny little plug. That's hilarious. It must be for the other. They have the same box for the slightly bigger, slightly bigger plugs that you get on the uh, 60cc and upwards or something. Engines. Not quite sure. To be honest, I'm new to this. I'm gonna a learning curve. I'm new to. I'm, I've got experience with petrol engines, but not RC. And I've got a lot of glow engines, but not. Petrol is a bit of a different setup, so wow, it's quite heavy. 
and I mean it's small but still com still quite large. I mean, uh, wow, look at that thing. That is cool. Looks beautiful. So have them prop, um, prop nut, and then that's the carburetor. And that's a Walbra, which is a proper branded stuff. Apparently, it's the, uh, the best stuff. It's why you're getting chainsaws and all that. Uh, that's the choke, uh, twin needle. Uh, don't know what that is. And then that's that's your adjust your idle, I believe it is, and that's your throttle linkage, and that's your servo linkage there. So that's your throttle and that's your choke, and that looks amazing. So SE twenty T T for twin twin SE. I'm not sure standard edition or. Something like that. On the back we got some markings as well. But that's just cute. Look at that. Hey? That's amazing. Happy with that then? Really happy. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, it's got like laser engravings. I believe it's laser like Stinger engines in here. It looks amazing. Look at that on the uh, on the case, that's on the front grand. case. Um, but the engine, the casting quality and the machining is, is really, really super quality. Um, and from what I hear, it's very, very good engines uh, compared to, um, you know, the expensive branded ones. This is your ignition timing. I believe there's a magnet. Yes, else. There you go. So there's a magnet and there's your timing that goes into the ignition. And then I believe you can adjust these here according to your where you leave for the uh, uh, timing advance or you know so tuning basically for op optimal performance and that's your sort of back plate and that's part of the cut so that's part of the case so these these four lugs sort of go up to the flat thing and then you got the other standoffs or you can just get some longer ones if you need to but that is fantastic and that goes like this. It goes on the plane like, like I think it goes like this, or it, I guess it can go like this as well. But it usually goes like this. So very low profile. Uh, so twenty cc. So it'll be ten cc each side. And that's going on my carbon carb uh, fifteen cc from um, what do you call it, hangar nine, which is the balsa wood one. And I've got I've got a glow engine for it. But this one will be, I think, the better one just because it's cheaper to run and less oil. Um, so it won't be a dirty sort of setup. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to running these in on the bench and seeing how, um, how well it runs off the, uh, off the factory sort of settings and stuff. And um, yeah, so that was it, guys. Really just a quick sort of look at the, you know, what's in the box and what you get. I'll actually open this one quickly just to uh, show you guys what's in here. Why not? Let's place that one in here, and that was beautiful, isn't it? That. And then we'll have a quick look at the um, ignition um, box thing as well. Why not? Uh, a couple more minutes. How are we doing on the time? Eight, like, eight, eight forty-four. Eight forty-four. Let's make the about minutes. Talk for eight forty-four about that. So I guess more stickers. Yes. So Rexel, RCXL. What do we call it? These are things quite famous branded. Well, you see them. You see them everywhere on the RC engines. You got a clip for your um, cable, for your servo connector that goes into the uh, this one here, so the uh, so it doesn't come off in flight. So that's your magnet pickup from your uh, sensor position, you know, for the crankcase, or crankshaft, sorry. And then you got a little cable for something else i guess that's oh yeah that's a supply power for the thing so you can wire that onto some um power supply or something or battery this is just some some of that coily sleeve stuff to put around i think you meant to go put it around here or or these loose cables oh yeah it goes around it goes around this one i believe optional mm -hmm. of course and then here we got the um, now the cool thing about this is is a twin one so you've got one box one ignition box which is quite thick actually obviously this is um 
isolate it for um, you know for the radio uh, to, to keep it from interfering with the radio because these are known for that's why it's all shielded um, because park appliances are known for causing uh, major issues with uh, RC control radio waves uh, but yeah so so you got obviously twin spark plugs that goes one there the other one on the other side and then you got you know crankshaft position sensor or timing sensor whatever you call it and then that will be uh, one will be power and the other one will be something else what is it saying here rpm signal output anyway i need to look the instructions that's that in power in and then these are for something else for like kill switch or something but anyway that's the nice little um i've got quite big hands and you can see that's it's uh, i mean i guess it's not super compact but it is for, for what you get sort of uh, for this type of engines it is so that goes yeah um i should weigh all of these actually um but i'll probably do that i'll put it on the video once we turn this off i'll get some scales and then ali must have some scales in the house wouldn't it? yeah but yeah I'll, uh, I'll take all this weight and then just see together what it comes to but i'll just have a quick look in here and see if it says in here um no it doesn't say on the box it will probably see on the instructions on the specs but uh, nice little engine i think it'll be amazing to see it running uh, i've got the props and stuff already um and then um yeah put it on the plane and fly it really ready for summer so it's excited yeah really exciting really exciting um just checking for yeah so 2.1 kilowatt power 2.8 hp so nearly three horsepower eh? um max rpm goes from 1500 to uh, 800 sorry 8600 and uh what else just checking any other specs propellers is 16 by 8 or thereabout and then the different size can go all the way up to 17 by 6. Uh, suggested braking prop is 16 by 8 spark plug is a one quarter 32 size and there's no weight of this thing here so it doesn't give you the weight of the uh, engine not on this sheet anyway but anyway so that's it guys i uh, hope you enjoyed any questions i'm gonna put these on youtube so drop a comment and um yeah um done for today so uh until next time take care